Okay, here is another little complication that you get when you're solving trig equations. If the argument theta is not an integer multiple of pi over 6 or pi over 4, those are the ones most commonly used. We could use pi over 12, but I don't think the text uses that in this section. Uh, anyway, if the argument is not an integer multiple of one of these two numbers, in other words, if you can't find an exact value for your trig function, then you use the inverse function to estimate theta because you, you can't find it exact, or at least we don't have methods to find it exact. You must keep track of the range of the arc trig, whatever the arc trig function is. So, uh, for example, if it's arc cosine, you have to keep track of the range of arc cosine when you do this. So draw pictures in the CS plane to do that. So recall that arc sine, arc cosecant, and arc tangent, their ranges are all in this region. There's, you know, one or two points missing on a couple of them, but that doesn't matter so much when you're doing this. So we just think of it, okay, quadrant one or four for arc sine, arc cosecant, remember cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, and then arc tangent. And then the other three, oh, I just did these triangles. So the triangles will be in these two regions for those. I'm sorry, the um, uh, the range of arc sine is in these two regions. Okay, so the inverse trig function gives one of these triangles in the in region one or four. Arc cosine, arc secant, and arc tangent, their range is in the upper half plane. That's in, so it's going to be in quadrant one and four, or one and two, sorry, one and two. And so their triangles are going to be in the upper upper half plane like that. That's the range of the cosine of the of the arc cosine, the arc secant, and the arc tangent are all up there. So this will give you one angle theta. And then the other one you need to find using the stuff from the previous pages. right, together with the results. So this rest of stuff, this red stuff on the bottom here, this is just, then from the one angle, you find all the other possible angles from the stuff in the previous three slides or, th or three videos, three pages if you want.